today is the last uh, free session and uh, further continuation will be based on like who are enrolled for them will continue the training so yeah how many are enrolled or how many are about to enroll you can give me a chat message right enrolled already and about to enroll please send me personal chat to the me chat to me only okay right who are enrolled or about to enroll no not like that i have enrolled i am going to enroll i have enrolled give me the clear message i need a clear picture i have enrolled i am about to enroll Yeah, about to enroll people also can give me a message about to enroll. I am going to enroll. Right. So coming to what was the last uh, uh, say, uh, example, last concept is what, guys? Hello? Parsing method for typecasting. Absolutely. Type what type. was the last program I have given? Any program I have given for you, Bob? to enter students details uh, with, from user and to print them okay okay, okay. we'll do one thing we'll we'll take a we'll take a task now yeah uh, write a console program to accept to uh, three subject marks three subject marks m1 M2, M3, M3 from user, M1, M2, M3 from user and calculate total marks, comma, average marks and display total marks then average marks display total marks and average marks total marks and average marks this is the requirement this is the requirement so now you have written similar program but this time you are accepting from the user there is a difference so whenever you want to write this program first two you take uh, OP and OP is important and a design that is called a design then based on that you will go for what program yeah you all the guys uh, take pen and paper all of you will we'll do design first like OP yeah OP is enter are you recording all of you Hello. recording a huh? enter m1 marks 16 store 60 into a variable called m1 16 what is the type of 16 Hello, what can be the type of 16? Integer. Think of twice and thrice which are marks mm -hmm. now. Floating point. Double. 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 But max yeah. mark is 100 only. One minute. Max 100 only. So you can go with max 100. Float means but 4 bytes. Double yeah. means 8 bytes. You can go with float also, right? Float. Yeah, enter, enter M2 marks, like 70, 
store 70 into another variable called m2. The data type is what floats. Enter m3 marks. Marks 80. Store 80 into other variable called m3. Coach. Now calculate total marks. That is M1 plus M2 plus M3. That is 60 plus 70 plus 80. That is how much value? How much value? Hello? 210. 210. This 210 you store into a variable called total marks. Load marks. Load marks type also you can go with float and assignment. Next to average marks. Tote marks. Tote marks by 3. That is 210 by 3. How much? 70. That is AVG marks. AVG marks that you store. 17 to load. Now finally the output should be like this. Total marks are 210. Average marks are 70. 210 is coming from here. 70 is coming from here. Hold the cursor to next end and hold it. Now, can you write the code for this, all of you? Parsing is required or not required, guys? Parsing is required or not required? Hello? Parsing is required. In this requirement, parsing is required or not required? It is required because we are entering the values. We are not giving us anything. How many places you require parsing totally? Three places required parsing. 60, 70, 80. Converting from which type? Outputs also. Converting from which type to which type? Uh, Integer to the. Think of twice and thrice. Converting from which type to which type? First, it's taking we are entering the integer value, then it converted into the uh, return type. Read line will give me my question. Value. Don't give me the unnecessary answers. Direct question simple. Converting, no. parsing from which type to which type in three places? Load to, to, to integer. Load to integer. Hmm? In string, it was it is string, sorry. String to integer. String to integer. Hmm? Data type to string. Data, data type. Wait, what did you listen last class? Tell me. Hmm? Right. Anyhow, try the code. Try, try the code. Come on. Hmm.
Right. So, yeah. Done. Are you able to write the code, guys? Hello? Yes, sir. How many, yes, sir. How many are able to write the code? I'm writing, sir. Just name it. Yeah. One minute. Yeah, Kushbu got output. Hello? Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, meanwhile, you try six remaining people are trying now. Sure. Anybody else completed? Yeah, okay, I completed, sir. Two people are completed. What about others? And so, Manasa completed. Okay, next. Ushbu, Manasa, Lakshman. Hmm. Next. Hey, sorry, 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 sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I told you. Sorry. Hello. Sorry, I'm writing a internet tool wrong. Actually, after writing the code, I'm able to understand in the turn writing float dot parse console dot deadline. Okay, right next. Okay, we'll write the code. Yeah, so I have given one program to you guys to try at home also, right? That day. Right, okay, fine. We'll write the code uh, now. Yeah, tell me, Kushbu, tell me the code, console dot. Right. Console dot right line, enter marks one. M1 marks. Ah, float. Float M1, M1 equal to float, float dot. Parse. Parse. Console, console dot. dot Code dot parse up console dot green line. One minute. Code dot parse up console dot red line. Okay. Now console dot console dot right line. Console dot right line. Yeah. Enter M one M two. Marks. Enter M two marks. Code M two equal to code dot Parse of console dot read line and the console dot write line enter m3 marks both m3 equal to both dot parse console dot read line console dot read line Okay, right. Now next two. we have to calculate the total marks. Float dot float dot marks equal to M1 M2 plus M2 plus M3. Right. Marks. Average, average equal total marks divided by three. Total marks by three. Unsold on right line. Unsold on right line. Total marks of total marks. Console dot right line. Average marks of MG marks. 
and we saw that the, this is the code. This is the code. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shall we do tracing for this code, guys? To get more clarity, and only four people are able to write the code. So to overcome confusions, what I'm telling you, we will do tracing on live. Shall we? Hello. Okay, sir. Yeah, you take pen and paper, all of you. Take pen and paper, all of you. We are executing this application. I am doing tracing on my white bo uh, digital board. Right, OP. OP. Right. You guys, you observe. Unfold dot right line, enter M1 marks. Then what will happen? I am doing on whiteboard. And what will happen? Come on. Enter. Enter. M1 marks. Enter M1 marks. Printing the value, moving the cursor to next line. Now after this, after this, control will execute this line. In this line, first of all, will execute LHS or RHS? RHS. RHS also, it will execute first. Which method? Arsene method or Arsene Read line, console dot read line. You observe the uh, screen where my console output it is holding, waiting for the input. According to that, we can say that here read line method is executing, it is holding for the input. Let us assume user entered 20. 20. Let us assume, even though I am showing in my output window, let us assume user entered 20. 20 and he pressed enter uh, 20 once he pressed enter read line method will accept 20 and it will return the 20 as what value 20 as what value read line method will return the 20 as what value this is a 20 which is entered by the user user entered 20 but by default 20 is a numerical type the so default type is into but read line method will return this 20 as a string value. Okay. Am I right? It's correct. Yeah, try to understand here what will happen internally. Here double code 20 value parse method will convert into come on, convert into float value. Convert into internally it will convert into float value. Yeah. Right, convert into uh, go to value. Uh, you can observe the screen now. It's going to convert into float value. So finally, parse method will convert into float value. You will have value twenty point zero. That is a type called float. Now, uh, up to here, you have executed only RHS is executed now what will happen RHS execution completed then control will execute LHS are you able to see my screen now control will execute LHS so according to the LHS it's creating one variable the variable name is M1, M1. M1. the data type of this variable is float, float. And after this, control will execute. After this, control will execute. Control will execute assignment operator. Control will execute assignment operator. Assignment operator. It is assigning 20.0. 0. That is the story is happening internally. If you want to understand in depth. Right. After this, control will execute console dot right line enter M2 marks. Again, it is going to print to enter M2 marks like this that I am going to do on my digital board. Come on, 
what is this enter enter m2 marks enter m2 marks m2 marks then after and move the cursor to printing move the cursor to next line then after this control will execute yeah control will execute again yeah we have a memory problem but to try to understand you are you, can you do with my explanation guys yes yes, yes. yes. yeah up to here i have done yeah one minute yeah now control will execute you can observe enter m2 marks means let's say i entered 70 the 70 is accepting by Reline method and reline method will return the 70 as a what value? 70 as what value here? 70 reline method will return as a string value. String value will be converting by the parse method into float. Then LHS will create a variable of float and assignment. Are you clear? Yeah. Now all dot console dot write line m3 marks enter m3 marks now again after this uh, rhs is console dot read line is executing and now your user entered a value called 80 once you press the enter 80 will be returning as string value by the read line method parse method will convert into parse method will convert into string okay. to value LHS will create a float variable that is m3 next assignment will assign after this m1 plus m2 plus m3 that is nothing but 60 plus 70 plus uh, 80 total 210 LHS will create the variable and assignment and 210 by 3 again 70 LHS will create a variable and assign after this console dot right line total marks are total marks that is 170 and printing the value moving the cursor to next line then after this then after this what will happen console dot right line average marks are avg marks average marks are avg marks that is nothing but 56 okay average marks are a total length of my integers of 60 uh, first time <laughs> I think mistakenly I entered 20 instead of 60 I entered 20 that's why it's giving 56.66 observed all of you yeah observed observed we all observed yeah, yeah, yeah. Mistakenly entered 20. finally output is average marks is something like this and console dot read line clear about this all of you yes yeah actually only four people are able to write the code which I have observed uh, okay we'll do one thing Next program, at least try all guys to write. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, next task is. Uh, task two. Write a console program. Write a console program to accept. Uh, to product class p1 comma p2 and calculate 10 percent discount then calculate sorry calculate <clears throat> total bill total bill mm. on total bill total bill calculate one percent discount yeah after discount display the total bill Right, come on. Can you guys?
Yeah, do it. Yeah, you do one thing. My advice to you, all the people, whenever you want to construct a house, what is the first step? Design. Yes. The question is, when we want to construct a house, step first of all, we will do. We'll directly construct the house. Or we'll go for a house plan. House plan. House plan. Yeah, house plan. Mm -hmm. Second house. Even the year also program is house and the design is house plan. Come on, do it. Do one thing. I think you are not that much interested to do the design yourself. <laughs> are you interested? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we are doing, sir. Learning programming is this only. So mathematics learning, programming learning, some techniques will be there. For that, you don't require any backgrounds like here, there, these. These people will tell and not required. This is the way, simple way to become a normal person, also programmer. Whether you trust or not trust, I done with thousands of students. That's why I'm confidently telling about this process. So I am lazy, sir. I'm sure if you are lazy, you can't survive in IT industry. You may get job, you may do job, but you cannot enjoy the job. I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, we'll do one thing. We'll do the at least uh, uh, design. We'll do later tracing time. You can take care. Okay. Now. Yeah, tell me. Uh, what is the requirement, Kushbu? Come and tell me the requirement. Yeah, Kushbu, can tell me the requirement. Sir, uh, we need two uh, product uh, P1 and P2 prices. Ah. Mm -hmm. And okay. then we have to like, calculate the, the total. Total bill. Uh, next. Yeah. On total bill, we have to give ten percent discount, so we have to uh, take one day like variable oh, for discount. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now listen here, all of you. The design is like this: enter P one cost. User entered thousand. Store thousand into one variable called P one, and let's say the data type is double. Because we don't know the product cost, maybe more than thousand slags also. Enter day two cost two thousand. Two thousand you store into one more variable called P two, and data type is double. Double. Now after this, calculate you have to calculate total bill. P1 plus P2, thousand plus two thousand, that is three thousand, and three thousand you are storing into this bill. This bill type is also double, and three thousand will be assigning into here. Right. After this, we have to calculate for tax. How to calculate tax? Total bill into zero point one zero. Two zero. Now how much? Ten percent or twenty percent? I said. Ten percent. It's a discount. Discount. Ten percent, right? Discount yes. Ten percent. Yeah. Three thousand into zero point one zero. How much? Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Now that 300 is nothing but a disc. Disc means a discount. Let's say the data type of this is also double. Now 300 you can store like this. 
Now discount means bill minus or bill plus. Minus. Minus. So oh, now total bill minus this three thousand minus three hundred two thousand seven hundred. Now that is total bill. So here my question is again total bill variable has to declare a no. No. Already it's there. Old value is three thousand. Now new value is two thousand seven hundred. Two thousand seven hundred. Now total bill is total bill is two thousand seven hundred. Move the cursor and hold. That's it. This is the story. Are you clear, all of you? Yeah. For this, you have to write the code. At least you write the code. At least you write the code. Come on. Hello, can you? Yes, sir. Yeah, please, please yes, write up. What is that, madam? Uh, I said we are writing. Yeah, try to write. Oh, okay, sir. Don't try to complete dot net. Try to learn dot net. Always, this is my word to all students. Try to learn dot net. Most of the people will try to complete dot net. Because I completed dot net, nobody will give you job. When you are comforting subject, the people can give you job. I am giving taken requirement on paper. Are watching like TV nine news? No, we are taken. Taken this op all of you design taken by all. Yes, sir. Completed, huh? Hello. Only writing the code. Again, now. Yeah. Now come and tell me the code, guys. Yeah. How many are completed? Sir, I finished, sir. Solution. Five yeah. completed. Completed. Kavita completed. Come on, next. Console dot right. Console dot right uh, line. Console dot right line. Enter product P one price. Cost. Enter P one cost. And double P one equal to double, double dot double dot R sub 
console dot what is that read line console dot ah come and tell me that console dot side line enter p2 cast yeah p2 cast come and tell me double p2 equal to double dot parse of console dot read line and ah uh, now tell me guys uh, next next hello double next. total total pass equals to p1 plus p2 pass total mark sorry total and pass total double dot pass of ah uh, sorry no no not p1 plus p2 plus p2 p1 plus p2 Next double this equal to bill total bill zero point one one zero ah next total bill equal to total bill minus discount discount answer dot right line total bill is Console dot read line. This is the program you have to write. How many are completed this program with your own hands? I completed. Okay. Anybody else? I completed, sir. Okay. Do one thing. Uh, tracing the code. I am doing on my my command prompt window. You do on paper. Can you? Now, when you run the application. Yeah, output will be like this. Output window will be like this. Yeah, done. All of you. Yeah, yeah. Right lane. Enter P1 cast. It will be printing. Enter P1 cast and moving the cursor to next line. After this, RHS and console dot read line is executing. And console dot read line is executing. User entered a value called thousand. User entered a value called thousand. One minute. User entered a value called thousand. Once user pressed enter, what read line will do here? It will return thousand as a string, string value. value. String value. Then double dot parse will convert that string to double. Double value. Just will create a variable and assignment. Finally, P one P one cost how much? Thousand. Next, console dot write then enter P two cost, printing the value, moving the cursor to next line, and R H S again console dot read line. Here it is accepting input from the user. Now I enter two thousand. Once user pressed enter. Read line method will return 2000 as a string value. Then parse method will convert into double. Again, LHS will create a double variable and again assignment. Now, so here P1 plus P2, how much? P1 is how much? P2 is how much? P1 thousand, P2 two thousand. Two thousand, two thousand plus two thousand, three thousand, and LHS will create a variable. And assignment finally total bill is three thousand. Next after this control will execute what is that? Next time three thousand into zero point one zero. Three thousand into zero point one zero. Come on. Three hundred. Three hundred. Next LHS will create a variable called disk. Will create a variable called disk. Okay. Next, after this, three hundred will be assigning into disk. Now, three three uh, thousand minus disk is how much here? Three hundred. Three hundred. Disk is three hundred. Okay. So three hundred uh, and LHS will create a variable called disk. Three hundred will be assigning into disk. Next, after this, uh, total is how much? Three thousand. Three hundred. How much? Two thousand seven hundred. Two thousand seven hundred. And LHS will again create a total variable. Ah, no, no. Already variable is there. That's why it will recognize the variable 
and will assign this 2700 into tote bill. Console dot right line total bill is tote bill that is 2700. Clear all of you? Yes. Yes, yes. sir. Very good. This is the program. Babu, this is a way to learn coding. Coding is not tough. Coding is easy, but the, we need to have a patience and time to become a good programmer. Okay, now, right. Uh, every line. See, the, the my point is student has to write the code and uh, uh, control should be under our control. Whatever we have done is called a tracing, executing the code line by line and behind how the memory is allocating all these things. Control, control, where are you? Control should say, I am in your hand. And what are you doing? It should say, I am doing nothing else. Whatever you are telling, I am doing. Then you are going to be a good programmer. Okay, so this is uh, one task. Now, yeah, with this, we are just uh, stopping our, uh, this 15 days, three weeks program. Okay, guys, and uh, uh, let me tell you a few things before uh, wind up the session. And guys, here, I will share you one link to you all, guys. This is the link uh, to share your feedback to TechGenius about the three weeks program. I'm sharing this link to you all, guys, through chat. I hope you have received have you received all of you? Check your chart, all of you. Have you received link? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. yes sir. Log in it. You don't require to register to log in. Just click it and post your feedback. Next, after this, and uh, what I am telling you, uh, the people who are already enrolled, just uh, you can leave the session. And uh, thanks for your time. And uh, uh, the people who are enrolled already, enrolled people who paid and for TechGenius, you can enroll. You will get a call from TechGenius or their continuation procedure, materials, everything there. They will call you or they will first, they will call you only. They will call you. You will get a call. Kushbu, you all guys will get call and they will talk to you for the further continuation of the training. You don't worry. They will take care about you. Those people can leave. Yeah, fast. And... Uh, yeah, please, Bhaskar. Uh, one one minute, guys. Kushbu, you all people also be wait. Uh, Bhaskar is a Texinius uh, director, so he will he, he wants. I am handing the session to him. He will talk to you. He will give you few points to you guys. Yeah, Bhaskar, please continue. Yeah, th thanks, Reddy sir. Actually, you know, I would yeah. like to thank you, students, and uh, at the same time, uh, you know, Reddy sir also because he has been spending uh, you know, time in the, with us uh, in the mornings, like his morning, 5, five o'clock in the morning. So thank you very much, sir. And uh, at the same time, thank you, guys, uh, all the students. Uh, hope uh, you learned uh, you know, uh, some fundamentals from dot and fundamentals from us. So hope this helps for your career. And uh, you know, keep coming to the TechGenius uh, you know, website, and we are adding a lot of features. OK? So and uh, and uh, whoever wants to join the advanced training please uh, you know join the advanced training and we have uh, 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 please come in uh, advanced training oh, is it? Uh, are you guys able to hear me okay yeah, yeah we are getting we are getting voice okay. yeah, remaining please respond he's asking yes sir we are getting it awesome. thank you right. so yeah, we have Sir, a little louder, please. We don't hear you. We have uh, you know twenty percent discount uh, for uh, this uh, program, uh, advanced training. It's uh, anywhere it goes from six to eight weeks. So uh, the discount code is buddy. We yeah, yeah. Uh, use your uh, notepad if possible, uh, Bhaskar. If you want to give more clarity about the structure. Yeah, yeah, sure, sir. I don't have notepad ready, but I think uh, I can type the code. I can display here. The actual cost is uh, four ninety nine, right? I am displaying here. Yeah, yes, and then uh, given twenty percent, right? Yes, yeah? that's right. That's right. This is the cost, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. Yeah. Oh, one second, Baskar. We'll do one thing. Uh, the people who are enrolled, let them leave, and we'll talk to the remaining about the joining people. Sure, sir. Sure, no problem. Yeah. Please, uh, Kushbu, Manasa, the girls and boys who join. I mean, Already you enrolled now. You can leave, and uh, we'll call to you. Uh, Texinius team will call to you. Will they will get? Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, you know, we'll uh, keep you posted with the information so that we'll uh, we'll tell you the timings. I think most probably we'll be starting the advanced trainings from Monday. Okay, we'll yeah. give you the more details.
Yeah, you can leave. Kushbu uh, and Manasa and Sudarshan, the enrolled people can leave. You will get a call from Texinius. Sudarshan and Manasa, I think they are enrolled already. I think uh, those people, four or five people are there, they, they can leave the session. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Baskar. Yeah, yeah, no, sir. I'm, I'm good. Actually, I just want to thank you, everybody, and the uh, you know, got benefit with this program. So, thank, thank you very much. And uh, you know, if you want to advance training, please join. We definitely recommend. He's a great instructor. So, uh, Reddy sir has, uh, you know, um, a lot of experience, and he's still now he has trained ten thousand people. Uh, you know, and who, most of them got uh, jobs, and also, uh, you know, planning to hire some of his students in India uh, for my development working back in India. Uh, you know, because I, when I interviewed them, they're really strong, and uh, you know, uh, definitely they're ready for the jobs actually. So that's what I want to recommend uh, you guys. So please make use of uh, his skills and uh, you know, uh, technical skills and as well as teaching skills, and then uh, uh, and let, let us know how we can help you. And uh, once the training is over. Uh, you know, we can also. I stay in Redmond, so uh, you can contact me at any time, and uh, we'll be able to help you with uh, you know uh, to find out the job actually. So there's definitely there's no guarantee, but at the same time we want to help you guys. So we have. Uh, I also have a few consulting companies, uh, uh, so that you know uh, we can have with them, and then we'll be able to help you with the resume preparation and uh, the next few things. I mean, uh, resume preparation plus job findings. Uh, any any questions, uh, you know, you can feel free to send an email to uh, info at techgenius.com or you can call our Tech Genius number 425-999-736. And as well as if you have any concerns directly, you can talk to him. Is it okay, Baskar? Yeah, sure, sir, definitely. You can call, ask me any questions also now if you have any oh, questions. Also, in meeting only, you can wind up, uh, like if you have any concerns to about to join and how many are about to join also. Uh, like uh, you can uh, give a like uh, your concern, right? So yeah. I mean, don't worry. Definitely, we don't want to push you. So you know, take this opportunity to learn you know advanced course uh, with the great instructor like Reddy sir, and uh, you know, it's a pleasure uh, you know having him actually. So usually it's very difficult to get his time. So I because of uh, you know my uh, him, so I am able to get his uh, timing. So thank you, sir. Thanks for your time actually. So yeah, right, uh, right. Uh, uh, so yeah. Yeah, Master, thank you. Thanks for your opportunity. Yeah, Bas thank you very much. Quick question. So I, I just joined again. This is Sudarshan. So advanced course will begin only next Monday, right? Yes, yes, Sudarshan, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, only only we are giving a break of for four days this week okay. and uh, and anyhow they will call you clearly, they will explain the procedure. Sahiti okay. or Baskar, any one of the person uh, from each and every individual will get a call from Texinius who are enrolled already. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you.